Hi guys, Miss O'Neill here. This week in our music lesson, we're going to learn about instruments. I'm gonna show you some pictures of instruments and then you say out loud the name of the instrument if you know it. And we'll see how many of them you know. Now most of them you will probably know, some of them you may not know. And I'll also tell you what instrument of, what instrument family each one is from. So let's start really easy. Here's a Here's the first one. What is it? That's right, that is a triangle. And that is part of the percussion family. The percussion family has instruments that are either struck, hit, or shaken. All right, next. What is this? The trumpet, very good. And that is part of the brass family. Oh, here's one we play in music class. Yes, the maracas, very good. And that's a percussion instrument because you shake it. All right, look at this. This is a guitar, very good. It's part of the string family. Now, if you had said a ukulele, that would have been okay too because it really does look like a ukulele and you really can't tell the size from just a piece of paper. All right, we play these in music class too. The tambourine, very good, and that's another percussion instrument. All right, look at this one. I thought you would know that. That is the violin, very good. Now look at the little black part on the end of it. That is a chin rest. That was a clue to tell you that this is a small instrument and that's part of the string family. All right, another easy one here. Everybody can get this. That's the drum, and that's part of the percussion family as well. All right. That's right, that's a harp. And it is full of strings, and it is a string instrument. Oh, this one's my favorite. Yes, you are right, that's a piano. Do you see my piano behind me? The, the piano in the music room at school looks a little different because it is an upright piano. So there are two different kinds of pianos. But all pianos have strings and they could be part of the string family. But on the inside of the piano, they also have hammers that strike the strings therefore making it a percussion instrument too. So the piano really belongs to both families of instruments. All right, do you know this one? This is the one that has the slide. The trombone, and that's a brass instrument. All right, look at this one. That is the flute. Very good, and that's a per, that is a, I said the wrong thing. That is a woodwind instrument. All right, look closely. And you see the little mallet right there? That is a gong. Very good, and that's a percussion instrument. All right, look at this one. That is a saxophone. Now it does look like a brass instrument, but it is part of the woodwind family. And it's because of the way the mouthpiece is, the way it's played. All right, look at this. I thought you would get that. That is the tuba, and that is a brass instrument. All right, next is this. These are symbols. Now it's hard to tell what size. Some symbols are really big and they crash together. They're called crash symbols. And others are teeny tiny and we call them finger symbols. But those are two kinds of symbols. And those are percussion instruments. Alrighty. That is the banjo. Did you get that one? And it has strings, so it's part of the strings family. Oh, look at these. Yes, 
this? These are bells, hand bells. In our music classroom, we have different colored bells. And you ring them, and on the inside of the bell is a clapper that hits the side of the bell, and that makes it a percussion instrument. All right, now this one's a little bit tricky. Yes, these are drums, but hmm, what kind of drums? The little black thing here is a big clue. They are, that hooks them together, and that makes them bongos. If it had just been one of these, we might have thought it was a conga drum. It does kind of look like a conga drum, but you can't really tell the size. But these are bongos. And because you hit them, they are part of the percussion family. All right, now this is a tricky one. Some of my older students might know this. This is a bassoon. And a bassoon is part of the woodwind family. Okay, now look closely at this. Remember back at the violin? Remember the violin had a chin rest? This one does not have a chin rest. It's a bigger instrument. This is a cello. And if you had set a double bass, I would have let you go with that too because you really can't tell the size. The double bass is a little bit bigger. And that is part of the string family. All right, look at this. That is the clarinet, and that is a woodwind instrument. Look at this. That is a French horn, and that is part of the brass family. And here's the last one. We have some classroom versions of this. Do you remember what it's called? The xylophone. And that is part of the percussion family as well. Well, boys and girls, I hope you did well with those instruments, naming them. And you can always do the video again and see if you can remember even more than you did the first time. Well, boys and girls, I miss you. And um, I will catch you next time. Bye.